Hey everyone, Ben Crosswhite here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm gonna to be explaining how to activate the glutes properly to strengthen and grow them and for aesthetics and for back and spine health and affecting cross pelvic syndrome, uh, which is basically imbalances of the muscles around the pelvis. And this one exercise is something you should not miss. It's one I do with all the Miss USA contestants and it is absolutely great to throw in weekly. Check it out. All right, so if you guessed hip thrusters, you guessed right. That is the single best exercise to grow your glutes and strengthen your glutes while not growing your thighs. And it's very good to help with what we call gluteal amnesia uh, and the crossed pelvic syndrome, uh, pelvis syndrome. And uh, to get started, you wanna start with the box. You wanna keep your shoulders elevated and we'll get into that as well and show where exactly, but you wanna start with the box about knee level. So I like to look at the top of my tibia bone about right here. 18 inches is about right for me. You're gonna come off the box like normal. And then your shoulder blades, right below your shoulder blades is gonna be on the edge. Now your knees, I like to be at 90 degrees, so right where your femur meets your tibia is gonna be at 90. If you're too far out, you will hit more hamstrings. If you're too close, you're gonna hit more quads. So make sure you're at 90. And it's gonna be different for everybody, about hip width with your feet, keeping pressure in the heels. And as you drive up, I like leaning the head back just for spinal health. But honestly, if you look forward, it's gonna help rotate your pelvis. You're gonna go into more of an anterior pelvic tilt and you can squeeze better in the glutes. Now, if you have a neck injury, I suggest keeping that neutral spine the entire time and driving up at the top. Holding at the top every single time, getting a good squeeze. And if you need to, put your thumbs right in the glute med on the side in the tender part. Press in really hard and focus on that squeeze at the top. Now you wanna get full extension up, but past 10 degrees at the top, you're gonna to start getting into your erectors and that is going to tighten using your back, not as much the glutes, so be careful there. But typically, the higher the better and keeping your pelvis turned into an anterior tilt. So from here, looking forward, flexing the glutes, pressing in if you need to with a good hold and then coming right back down. Now the best thing to do as you progress is to add bands because you're gonna get a better squeeze at the very top. Weight is good too, but the bands are gonna to help to stretch and get more resistance at the top, which is gonna grow your glutes even more. So try it, have variations with it. The froggers are great, bringing the feet in, taking the knees out, that's gonna help different angles of the glutes, but always do it elevated. All right, so there you have it, the single best exercise for activating the glutes properly, getting rid of gluteal amnesia and crossed pelvic syndrome. Uh, that is the best thing to do for spine health, for developing your, your glutes as a whole, all three glutes there, and, uh, and helping to grow them, strengthen them, and all without growing the thighs. So do it weekly, add resistance, start progressing properly, reach out for details, ask questions. Uh, I love helping, but this is what I put all my Miss USA contestants through, and it helps dramatically, so throw it in there.